you know what? I'm so excited for this next match. I mean, you know, Alexa, shout out to Alexa and Kashika. They they warmed this up for a rivalry. This one is a rivalry. Mm -hmm. It really is. And you know, mm -hmm. Kashika, Kashika even wants to run back, you know, 5-1. That's not a good way to go out, man. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's get that run back in. But right now, we are focusing on one of the Philippines' FGC most heated rivalry ever yeah guys so take a look at this hype video real quick we'll be right back shortly going up against playbooks dojin who we just saw earlier yeah we saw dojin play earlier he's been playing really well yep uh, not hurt yeah. tries to shine his shoes once again okay low to the mid Ooh. Counter here. Oh. man gets the combo hit. here should be able to get some decent wall carry two cancels this is a mix-up big one what's gonna happen oh, oh. Crazy, crazy combo. But then again, Coffee Prince has his own. Yep, back in, back again. Oh, counter hit one, back one. To the wall. Masak getting all those hits in. Okay. Oh, nice drive. drive. Combo right, and he is definitely going to win. Oh! Oh! Wow. wow. This is it. All part of the plan, Pika. That's all okay. part of the plan. Mokadojin versus the Brawler. We're reliving this rivalry. It got to the point that these two could... Um, <coughs> God, I got choked up thinking about it. <laughs> the rivalry is that intense. <laughs> it got to the point where whenever they'd face off in tournament, people would crowd around just to see the results of this match. It's going to be a heated one, kid. Absolutely. And, you know, whenever these two would fight head on in a tournament <coughs> or whatever, Ooh. every single person in the room would stop what they're doing just to see how this match would turn out. And completely, I understand. Mm -hmm. I get where it's coming from these two have been heated so badly in uh, you know in the history but before we get into more of that we do want to give a special shout out to astro gaming the Boom. official headset and mix up of tekken online challenge and this year we've extended our partnership and products to casters that's us oh. every caster of the tekken online challenge is using the special edition of astro tr main stage headset to bring the hype to those at home. Yo, shout out to Astro for their innovative designs and always supporting the FGC. Much love to the Astro family. Guys, you won't regret it. These things, not. Mm -mm. pretty good. <laughs> pretty darn good. Five stars in my book. So, mm -hmm. speaking of five stars, I think this matchup is a five star match in the making because oh, we, ha we have Coffee Royalty, Coffee Prince, a known and feared player up against Dojin. Now we've been talking about the rivalry. I'm pretty sure people that have been there have seen the heat that these guys bring in. Uh, it's it's start out, I mean, it, it's friendly competition turns into personal stuff and I think they've squashed it before, but we're reliving that here today. We're gonna see them square off. We did see Dojin as the final boss he, uh, yesterday in the uh, Tekken Online Challenge Tournament. He did have to face up on, but now has to face his demon. Mm -hmm. And you know, the last time that they, these two probably talked to each other was years and years ago. And you know, they couldn't stand each other. Although I think they might have already settled up, but you know, it never I, really runs out. It never really. Well, runs. I think that the most they talk is professional because they always obviously run into tournaments. They, they, they're in the same league. So they exchange pleasantries here, professionalism. But right now, they have the spotlight to squash that beef once again. First to five, all on the line. Let's see who will come out on top. Will it be Coffee Royalty or will it be Dojin? Let's find out in this interview. Siguro kung merong isang uh, Filipino Tekken player ulit na gusto kong makalaban, siguro si Dojin. Uh, with my past experiences, I am pretty sure that I have the upper hand against Coffee Prince. Hi, my name is Andre Albar. My in-game name is Dojin. I am from Playbook Esports, the Philippines, and I am 22 years old. And I started playing competitive Tekken back in 2012. The most memorable competition that I have attended was Southeast Asian Games 2019. That is actually the uh, first time for esports to be included in SEA Games. And one of those is Tekken. For me, I really appreciate them uh, considering Tekken to be a 
actual sport. My name is Jeffrey Gonzalez, IGN name Copy Prince. I started playing Tekken since 2008. Sumasali ako sa mga tournaments kasi nag-enjoy ako habang naglalaro. And then at the same time, doon mo kasi matetest yung skills mo kung nasaan ka na na level ng paglalaro ng Tekken. Kasi kung halimbawa lagi ka nakakapasok sa mga top 8, lagi ka nagka-qualify, doon mo ma ma-assess yung sarili mo kung nag improve ka ba or hindi. So kung ano ba yung mga missing or ano ba yung dapat kong i-improve. My way of preparation for this matchup is I will ask my friends to uh, play with me uh, using Coffee Prince characters. So that way, I'll have an idea how to deal with them. Yung huri namin paglalaban, that was um, the national season 2 playoffs. Nanalo ko sa kanya, for is 3-2. So kaya gusto ko siya makalaban ulit para ma-test ko rin and ma-prove ko na hindi chamba siguro yung pagkakapanalo ko. For every loss or defeat that I receive, it motivates me and uh, inspires me to do better and perform very well. Alam naman ng karamihan na um, halos lahat ng karakter pwede niyang gamitin. So, hindi ko ma-predict kung ano specifically yung aaralin ko na possible na magamit niya. Coffee Friends is considered the best Team Fox player in the Philippines. And he is also a top contender in tournaments and competitions in international. Galingan niya sa laban namin and gagalingan ko rin para maging maganda yung laban namin. I hope we could give the audience a good show and let us do our best and perform good. Magiging prediction ko sa laban namin, um, close fight pa rin. It could be 5-4 uh, uh, in my favor or 5-3 pag sinuerte. My predicted score for our exhibition match is 4-5. to five. Good luck and may na best man win. Kid, you saw the fire in their eyes. You saw the fire in their eyes. There was fire in their I, eyes. I saw some hatred. I saw some hatred. There was. We're just trying to build it up for you guys. But you know what? <laughs> the competition is real. Those guys have been going back and forth in tournaments, and now they're gonna go first to five, and we're gonna see who will be the best man, pound for pound, between this these two, Coffee Royalty or Mocha Mocha Dojin. I'm really excited because we did get a sneak peek of Mocha Dojin, Ooh. and here are the two the results. It is Dojin by a landslide, almost 90%. But you know what, Coffee Prince? Every dog has its day. You know, any given Sunday, this could, he could get him. And he did mention in their last meeting, it was 3-2. to two. Mm -hmm. And mind you, despite the heated rivalry that these two have, Coffee Prince still acknowledges the fact that Dojin really is a strong player. He oh, yeah. said... 5-4 five, four, uh, five, four or 5-3 five, if I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. That statement alone is acknowledgement that Dojin really is a great player. And he also mentioned sure. that everybody knows that Dojin can play every single character in the game at a high level. Whereas Dojin only mentioned that he's considered the best Steve Fox in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So mind you, Poch, again, we've mentioned this time and time again. We, we have no idea how to protect Dojin. We have no idea what character he's going to use. Right, and when it comes to the rivalry, yes, it's very heated. Yes, it's it's um, um, the tension is high. But rest assured, these two players respect each other because you can't come in this like thinking that oh, I'm gonna it's a five oh, it's all this. These two players know the constant threat that presents itself in this matchup, and we are about to start this first to five. People at home, make some noise for who you right. think is gonna take it. Let's go. Oh, Here we what? go. What? All right. Okay. With Coffee Prince, <laughs> very interesting because I have seen it. We have seen a bit of his Falcom Rum. Dojin mm -hmm. with the Negan to start things up. You know, at this point, I'm not even surprised. I'm not. I'm not I don't know I who mean, shrieked back there. Please keep yeah. it down. I got to cast this match. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Into Thank you. the Vermilion Gates as well. Probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing stages of all time, you know, in Tekken history. Here we go. Dojin also not a stranger to the Negan. He has brought it out in special thing before. Copy mm. Prince, the same. But we, this is the first Pakum round that we've seen Girl. since yesterday. Right, right. That is true. The first Pakum round in the Tekken Online Challenge for the Philippines. How crazy easy, is that? Easy. And we could say the same thing for Negan. 
Yeah. Also, Negan, man, I love how he just taunts his uh, his opponents right away. This is really reminiscent of the rivalry. Here we go. Copy Finn starts off at a counter hit five seconds in. Mm -hmm. And now Dojin realizing he's a con he's a constant threat because Copy Prince can boast the range of Bakumram. And Dojin, uh, Dojin is also no slouch. Well, duh. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Negan has that range as well, considering his legs and also his bat. So Copy Prince might have the proper, uh, you know, advantage when it comes to rage. But here we go to the wall. The Blood Moon um, Rage Drive, Rage Art, uh, the Rage Drive gets spent, and now Copy Prince will be in the red. Can he spend it just in time? Copy Prince is so close, and he's able to eke that one out. Copy Prince barely with enough life to get that first round. And normally, these players would stop hitting each other while they finish that round, but Copy Prince just ran him over. You know <laughs> he's into this. He's so into this round. He wants to win this for his pride. True, and man, Pakumram is a beast. The mix-up machine coming into, like, just approaching. Nice soccer kit. Gets the side wall, tries to continue the offense. Dojin is in the red. He does have access to the drive spins, and for the plus frames, they trade in favor of Dojin. And Coffee Prince right now really abusing the one to one string of Bakumram. Since it's safe, he can just abuse it and maybe get a counter hit. And Dojin with a down forward two goes for the one of the most innovative combos I've ever seen in season four. Yeah, Blood Moon Launcher goes for the low. Watch out! Nice duck on the unblockable. Get some plus frames. Dojin doing a lot of work with this very thirsty vampire bat. Here we go. Coffee Prince up against the breakable wall. This should be it. Dojin. He's gonna take this back, and Copy Prince is gonna have to think about that one. That is a guaranteed good Sir Dojin on the board. Mm -hmm. That probably got Copy Prince's attention. Not out of the woods just yet. Let's it rip, and he is collecting the damage of this combo. Mm -hmm. Copy Prince not getting up right away, oh. but he will get punished so heavily for it. Dojin almost got got him with that uh, wall combo, but the delayed hit the audacity. Mm -hmm. It is now the final round. Who will take the first round? Copy Prince starting strong with a defensive low parry. And now Bakumram is no stranger to the wall and wants to get him there, but Dojin finding his way out of that situation. Copy Prince oh. pressing a lot of buttons, good throw break, still very awake is Copy Prince. Sidestep into that guaranteed? No, he does not. Copy Prince still under a lot of pressure, he's up against the wall, what's he gonna do? This is a mix-up spot, here we go! Oh my gosh, Dojin is playing his own brand of Tekken. Copy Prince though finding an opening, hits him off the ground. Oh wow, excellent movement from Dojin, and he strikes first blood. One to zero. All right, Coffee Prince might have made a, uh, a little mistake there. When he ran up to Dojin, he was already tech rolling. And then when he was tech rolling, he sidestepped immediately. That's the common strat. When you see a ro opponent running right at you, you sidestep in order to uh, negate all the mix-ups. And Dojin did exactly that, coming back three straight rounds. Wow, that's, that's insane. And again, you can't fall asleep on the wheel in Tekken. You can't fall asleep on the wheel against Dojin. It looked like... Yeah, Coffee Prince was going to take the first set easy, but then just coming back, Dojin with his own brand of tech and be able to, you know, you said, like, have his own in innovative combo there and collecting all the plus frames. And Negan being an underrepresented character in, in well, in the Tekken Online Challenge, as well as Bakumram, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people kind of lab the matchup because he is one of the high highest um, pick characters in competitive Tekken. Mm -hmm. Omega Pika, actually the brother of Jules yesterday who got second place, Omega Pika actually did emphasize the strength of Negan. He has good lows, he has good pokes, his legs are long, maybe as long as Huarang's, so mm -hmm. it has considerable reach, this considerable range, and with that bat, some things can't be parried. So, Dojin might actually have a bit of an advantage here, but this is Pakum Ram that we're talking mm -hmm. about. Now, Pach, I love that you mentioned Dojin has his own brand of Tekken because we mentioned also yesterday that if uh, if you want to learn Tekken, don't learn from <laughs> Dojin because he has a mind of his own. He doesn't play Tekken. Mm -hmm. He plays the 
person in front of him, which is Coffee Prince. For you to be able to counter Dojin, look past the character and try to play, uh, try to play his version of Tekken and try to change it to your advantage. And that is what Coffee Prince has to do. Big arduous task ahead. And I have to say, are we going to be able to see a bit of um, unfamiliarity on Coffee Prince's side? Because if we bring it back to Kashika versus Asahina, she was a little startled with um, the representation of Eliza. So Coffee Prince has to do some quick math to understand the plus frames of Negan because we barely see him in competitive play. And that unfamiliarity doesn't even come close to Fakunan because he's a top tier character, considered one of the strongest tier in Second Seven ever since his release. So people, you know for sure that he's been labbed constantly. Coffee Prince gets with punished, though didn't awake as ever. Mm -hmm, true, but okay, Coffee Prince signs of life. Nice wake up there. And now, bolstering some rage, Coffee Prince has to be very careful with his approach here because Dojin, this is what he wants. He wants all the cards in his favor and he wants to be able to just slowly pick them apart, but Coffee Prince will not go down quietly. All right, now, be very, very careful though. Coffee Prince does have access to rage right now and here it is. I do believe the names are switched, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, God will uh, fix that up for us. Down forward two at the start of the game. Here we go to the wall. Doja not allowing Coffee Prince to get at that night, that sweet spot range of Fakamram and still taking the fight to him. Gonna collect a lot of damage and he could just choose to chill out here because he is holding all the cards, but no. Back to the head gives him the seven golden letters. Mm -hmm. Dojin realizes that Copy Prince presses so much buttons on Wake Up that he just went for the back one plus two. So smart coming in from Dojin. Copy Prince struggling just a little bit on when he should press and when he should not. Watch out. Dojin with the setup. The unblockable Copy Prince couldn't be a single thing because the, the unblockable was coming in. Catches him off timing. Dojin again living rent free in Coffee Prince's head. But look at this. Excellent salvo here from Coffee Prince. Catches him moving. Is this going to be it for Coffee Prince? It might just be. Quick second game we have over here. Potch. Dojin had the right read again. Coffee Prince might have to make a few adjustments oh, because he's been again goodness. pressing more and you more win. buttons. Dojin has him Bloody. on the palm of his hand. This is Dojin's game plan. This is the game plan he wants to implore. He wants to be able to figure out your timing, figure out your options, and make it work against you. You mentioned that he, uh, Coffee Prince, does like pressing buttons on Wake Up. Dojin, again, a download machine, probably scouted that out early on, and now he's using it to his advantage. What do you think Coffee Prince has to do to ch change the tides here? Personally, I think he needs to fight for the psychological warfare that he's put in right now by Dojin. First of all, he's using Negan. He's using one of the characters that have the most annoying intros <laughs> ever. And also, you know, the the wind pose. That's, you know, you gotta fight that up. You gotta shake that off. And at this point, I think Coffee Prince is playing to win. He's not exactly playing uh, in the comfort of his own characters. Fox, you know, I... I, I it's not it doesn't always matter if you if you like if you want to want to win the game you always gotta feel like you're you're comfortable in this matchup you gotta shake those things up i think that's what coffee prince needs to do that's true because you know what it's steve fox that brought him to the dance it was it was that character that brought him so much success and he has grabbed the ring of power with leroy and fakam rum but you know what, this is Dojin. He understands the characters. He understands the player as well, and he's using that to his advantage. Now, how will he be able to change things up? He is going with a Leroy Smith. Oh, he's playing to win. Mm -hmm. uh, no, he's not playing to win, but he's playing to not lose. And that's exactly what Coffee Prince is doing right now. Again, the Leroy pick, probably one of the strongest character releases ever mm -hmm. in the history of Tekken. Let's see how Dojin pits against this because he, uh, a couple of Leroy's have had his number for a while. True. And one of them actually is Coffee Prince's Leroy. So maybe he tried the waters out a little bit with the Falcom Rom, but he probably has a solution here because he does Whoa. boast a really dominant Leroy when push comes to shove. And I agree with this pick. He needs to put some points on the board here because it's going to be hard to come back 3-0. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Howard Estate. A lot of potential for combo with this here. Good punish, one, two, four from Coffee Prince. But presses, Dojin is so brave yet again with these power crush. It's it's the it's the mad genius that is Dojin. We 
It doesn't make sense, but in Dojin's, uh, the way Dojin executes it, it just does, kid. Mm -hmm. And Copy Prince catches him with a back four. Oh, is that a back four? I'm not entirely sure, but back three. That's a mm. back three. Okay, back three. Right. Dojin, lower than half health. Copy Prince does have the life. Mm -hmm. And now 30 seconds left on the clock. Now Coffee Prince interrupting. Dojin though gets the wall splat. Tries to follow up. And now Coffee Prince, excellent movement to just stay away from range. The back one plus two connects in favor of Coffee Prince. Gets one round on the board. Wow. You know what it would have been worse for Dojin if Coffee Prince ended that with a rage art. Just to let him know. Back four connects. Is he gonna connect to the tatami wall? Yes, we will, but the dro he drops mm. it at the very last moment. The side wall will save his life. Back one. Ooh, excellent offensive start for Coffee Prince, but Dojin again, he does have that late rally in him. He's generating a lot of damage, so Coffee Prince cannot fall asleep here. He has to be able to capitalize on the momentum he's gained early on. Marching band, another one. There's punish coming in from Dojin, and there it is. Copy Prince yet again getting caught in the mix of everything. Takes it back immediately. Yeah, the volume of, of damage that Dojin uh, and the momentum that he actually gains, he just he's not letting go of it. Copy Prince, just when you think he's about to score a round, Dojin just comes back out of nowhere. And right now, dominant first 15 seconds on Dojin's part. All right, that could have been a really good punish, but Coffee Prince lower than half health right now. 20 seconds have been spent, Dojin maintaining his spacing. Just back it away, back dash and back dash. Coffee Prince is trying to look for an opening, trying to look for these tech traps as well. But the thing is, this is Dojin we're talking about. He's not just going to fall for everything. Coffee Prince, there it is. Rising punish there from Dojin. And just like that, the Leroy pick is being put to the test now. Coffee Prince has to put some rounds on the board to stay alive because Dojin is ferocious now. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go, the momentum is going to come in. Dojin is just steamrolling Coffee Prince with help bit by bit. Orbital into back one plus two. Here we go, Coffee Prince might be on the board this time. Drops the last part of the combo. No more tatami walls to work with, so that was quite a stretch. Oh, Blood Moon to launch. Dojin, all things Dojin now, things are looking up for him. It's been 3-0, but it's been 3-0 so far. Dojin is on a rampage right now. Coffee Prince needs to find an answer. Mm. He doesn't want to end this beef with a 5-0. With a He's got to at least go out with a bang. Punch, do you think he could, should just go for the Steve? He, I think he might have to. He might have to go for a character that he has to lock with throughout this entire first of five. Again, um, he did mention he, he's lucky 5-3. Uh, so could this be the Steve pick that we're looking for? And he's be, he'll, able, he'll be able to just dominate with uh, Dojin through. Because in the last uh, meeting they had, he used Steve and he was able to beat known players like Vermillion in that, in that various tournament that I believe we casted. So I think he's got to throw the meta out the door and go for the comfort pick. Go for the character that brought him here, and that's Steve Fox. And speaking of known players that Toffee Prince has beaten already, mind you, one of them is Kudans, probably the best Devil Jin in the world. And this dude is also the Tekken World Tour Champion. Mm -hmm. Mind you, he almost, almost beat him. He took it to a Game 3 with a double Luigi. Guys, that says a lot about the kind of player that you are. Comfort is the key here. Mm -hmm. Especially in first to fives. And Dojin seems to be having all the answers to the questions that are being posed. And now our question is going to be answered. Still sticking with the Leroy, but going to Arctic Snowfall though. And this is a stage comfort pick. He loves this stage when push comes to shove. So let's see if it's effective against Negan. All right infinite stage here copy prince probably wants to move around not very comfortable with walls around his back you know dojin scary scary guy i tell you mm -hmm. i mean scary doesn't cut it kid if you're <laughs> against him in a first of five you best be playing mm -hmm, absolutely here we go actually that's Cop how what, the way i look at negan is the way i see dojin right now he's just a constant wow. threat and let's see how um Co uh, coffee prince will be able to deal with that you know, every time people would fight Dojin, I hope they're wearing the brown pants because mm -hmm. apparently Dojin just makes you, you know, do exactly. things. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. There it is. <laughs> so, Coffee Prince, 
Uh, just pokes right away, but Dojin just, you know, answering back in the poke department here. Nice throw escape. Coffee Prince needs to find his timing. Back fork will connect. And now Dojin still changing up his timing for Coffee Prince to second guess anything he throws out. Dojin collects a launcher. Right now, here we go. Coffee Prince is put in rage again, but well, how can he use it? He's trying to parry Dojin, but again, Dojin is in, is in a world of his own. He has his own Tekken playstyle. You do not learn from this guy, and you gotta know how. You gotta figure out how this guy plays. Coffee Prince is obviously struggling with that. Finally, this is the first ever launch of the PC from Coffee Prince. Nice biting Dragon Ender significant life lead but we saw in the Howard estate that Dojin does have that comeback factor and could that be it Coffee Prince now very defensive not making sure that his shots will count look at this he's already coming back from it both players just outside of rage this time now Coffee Prince has the life lead now Dojin has the life lead both players right now at, at so much risk to get oh. demolished but the rage drive from Coffee Prince, the blue stuff, is going to get interrupted by Dojin. Shut down Dojin. Pretty dominant with a capital D. Coffee Prince trying to set up for that orbital. Dojin again just changing up his timing, not allowing Coffee Prince to gain any advantage whatsoever. And now Intimidation stands in. Coffee Prince has to be very careful with the options that will come out of that. My goodness, Dojin really is intimidating him outside and inside of the game. Down, down two whiffs and Dojin counters with a down forward two whiff punish. Copy Prince right now is flustered, Bosch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, flustered is the right word how Copy Prince is feeling. And Ooh. now two hit to seal the deal. Dojin, again, there is a method to his madness. He has she been putting rounds on the board back. with this Negan. Copy Prince is in a world of trouble here he needs to stay alive he needs to find a solution we have we haven't seen any other character from dojin yet it's always been negan yeah and uh, man this really shows you know the character expertise and you know moku dojin as what we all would like to call it this dude can bring any character onto the table and play it at a high level at this point though cop prince he has one chance left to switch his character. Is he gonna mm -hmm. be Falcon Rum again? Is it gonna be Leroy? You know, who knows? We haven't seen a Steve. He is considered the best Steve in the Philippines, mm -hmm. but is he gonna put that to the test? That's that's a, that's a good question because again, he's gotta, I, I really think Dojin is in his head right now. Dojin is living in Copy Prince's head rent free right now because he is intimidating him for him to pick his comfort pick, which is Steve. He's going with the Falcon Rums. He's going with the Leroy's. And now they haven't been that effective. He's got to go back to the drawing board and find a solution if he wants to stay alive. No more room for error in this in this competition because, man, Dojin has been running away with it. Yeah, it doesn't even seem like he's running away with it. He's just walking away with it while Coffee Prince crawls. And my goodness, he's so dominant in this first to five he only needs to win one more game and copy prints what could the answer be mm -hmm. and so uh, i'm i'm biting my nails right now to find out who the answer would be we're still committing to the leroy now changing stage up in random but yo kid he has to stick with this character five five wins he has to do that Big, big hill to climb for Coffee Prince. Absolutely, Potch and Coffee Prince. He can only Easy. pray and hope that he gets all the answers that he's looking for right now. And this is his very last chance into the arena. Fight. Oh, here we go. All eyes are on Coffee Prince. How he's going to approach this matchup. Dojin answers back now, completes a three hit string. And Coffee Prince finds the Hermit launch here. Oh, he misses the screw part of the combo though, but he does put a considerable amount of damage onto Dojin. Ooh, missed the whiff on his chance, but Dojin is up against the wall though. The pressure could be on. Good break on that throw. Oh, nice interrupt there. And Coffee Prince rallying back. This could be the life that this could be the life resurgent he's looking for. Tremor punches there to just pop off just a little bit. Dojin making him realize, you know what, you're not out of the woods yet, sir. 
All right, here we go. You can see Dojin movement and movement after movement after movement. You can see him sidestep and block and then poke, uh, at, poke at the same time. Copy Prince, so far he's been trying to find an answer for this by going for back three, but it's just not catching Dojin. Mm -hmm. He's winning a lot in the stand-up department. Again, mistime parry there. Dojin did not press any buttons. He's so disciplined because he knows he's up against the Lira. I'm pretty sure he allowed this matchup. Oh, rising punish there from Dojin. Right, and try to go put a setup right there. Dojin does not have access to rage. Copy Prince has that extra damage bonus since he is in rage with the, the first health sweep we've seen. Copy Prince feeling a bit more comfortable. Dojin is pushed to that wall. What is he gonna do? Oh wow, drive for drive. Oh, the back four misses. What is he gonna do? Nice punish. Oh, the hermit gets canceled. Dojin answers back with another round. All right, now. Dojin staying alive here, but Copy Prince still has so much to do, pressing buttons again. Mm -hmm. And look at that half-life spent. Oh, no, correct me, kid, because that was more than half-life. And Copy Prince is in huge trouble, because Dojin, one more poke away, one more combo away for him to secure this third round. Oh, the health sweep block as well, half thought from a mile away. Dojin is one round away from taking it against Copy Prince and feeding him to the zombies. That is the oh. launcher, my friend. Wow, Copy Prince is in a world of trouble. So far, Dojin not giving him any room to breathe. Big low again, intimidation to another low. Copy Prince fighting for his life, does have rage, does have the game, will spend it. Now Dojin has one thing less to worry about, does have the wall. Copy Prince still fighting for his life. The parry is mistimed. Dojin just needs two more, uh, two more hits to go. He's trying to shank him. He's looking for the shank. Mm -hmm. Dojin wants to finish it off with a bang, and that bang is a knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. Very, very <gasps> careful. There it is. The whiff onto that orbital from the sidestep, and Dojin takes it with a quick 5-0. That Dojin just showed us like what he's all about. He finished that first to five with ease, kid. With ease. Man, his... Mm -hmm. Again, that was quite dominant, and we've been seeing dominant performance so far. It's just, it's quite unfortunate for Copy Prince, but you gotta give it up to Dojin. He was ready for his Leroy, he was ready for his Fakamram, and it just shows, ladies and gentlemen, that Dojin is a scary competitor. Even in a first to five, he only used one character. He didn't even bring out anyone else. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this rivalry's probably settled already. You know, you know, yeah. burying the hatchet. Dojin really showing us how much of a fierce competitor he is. He does well in the in uh, Philippine tournaments. He does well in international mm -hmm. tournaments. And guys, I'm reminding all of you that this is one of the one of the star players here in the Philippines, along with AK and Maru. Mm -hmm. Guys, give it up for Dojin, but also valiant effort for Copy Prince. One of the top players here in the Philippines, you gotta give props to Coffee Prince because he, I mean, Dojin took him very seriously in this matchup. He did have a ferocious start, but it just seemed like Dojin was so prepared. So give it up for both these players in, in this matchup because they really poured their heart in there. And you said that, yeah, we did, we did, re, um, we did. Um, bury the hatchet in that rivalry, but we're going to talk to them in just a bit, ladies and gentlemen. We're just going to take a very short break, but when we return, we're going to talk to Coffee Prince and Dojin. Don't go anywhere. And we're back here at the Tekken Online Challenge, Botch Spice and Kid. But now with the competitors between that heated matchup, it was Dojin and Copy Prince. Say what's up to everyone, you guys. Hi, everyone. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank yeah, you. So quite an intense match. Did anything surprise you um, in, in that matchup? Coffee Prince, let's start with you. Yes, sa akin, <laughs> sobrang, <laughs> sobrang na-surprise ako kasi... Mm -hmm. Hindi ko expect na magninigan siya and mm -hmm. um, wala akong nakakalaban ng mga nigan for the past tournaments so mm -hmm. ayun na surprise ako sa ginamit ni Dre 
Mm. Okay, so for those of you watching at home, let me translate that. So he was very surprised with mm -hmm. um, the matchup, mm -hmm. with the Negan matchup, because he hasn't faced that much Negans. I don't think... Have you faced um, um, Dojin's Negan ever, Coffee Prince? Um, not yet. I think even oh. in the Nationals. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. So Dojin had that up his sleeve. Yes, kid, go for it. I got a question for Dojin real quick, though. Dojin... <laughs> Uh, of course, this isn't, this isn't the first time that you played uh, Negan. We've seen it in uh, the past couple of tournaments that we've been in. I do want to ask you, did you expect that Coffee Prince would not go for Steve or were you prepared for anything? Um, for the uh, first two matches, I was actually surprised because he used Pakum Ram. But I was really expecting Coffee Prince to use uh, Leroy or Steve. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think he is also focusing on Pakum Ram right now. And his Pakum Ram and Leroy is definitely strong. Mm, for sure. Uh, going back to Coffee Prince, yes, you did you did a lot of damage with the Leroy and Pakum Ram in previous tournaments. Uh, was there was there a strategy for you not to bring out Steve? Because uh, a lot of people, me and Kid, were expecting a Steve to come out. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, actually, I, because I haven't played Steve since the Nationals season finale. Mm -hmm. So I've been focusing on Fakurum Lam, Fakurum mm -hmm. and Leroy lately. Mm -hmm. So that's why hindi ko siya ginamit yung Steve. Okay, so that's why he wasn't able to use. Uh, that's why he didn't bring out the Steve just yet. So I have to ask you guys now: um, Would you want to run it back, or are we bearing the hatchet here in the the rivalry? Uh, let's hear from Dojin. Uh, would you want to go another first to five in the Tekken Online Challenge, maybe next year? Hopefully, we'll call the action. But yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> sure, why not? But mm -hmm. also, it's an opportunity for us. Not mm -hmm. only for me, but also for Coffee Prince to show the world mm -hmm. that uh, Beautiful. what we got and uh, how the uh, Filipino Tekken players play. <laughs> Coffee Prince, would you want to run it back? Yep, Maybe with definitely. Oh, okay. okay, let's go. And I do want to see like a virtual handshake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is very reminiscent of like what we saw back in Rev Major, what, 2017, where me and JDCR shook hands for the first time in years. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy to see the both of you, you know, bury that hatchet already. And I hope mm -hmm. to see a run back Copy Prince taken. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe Copy Prince will take it next year. Maybe Dojin is going to mm -hmm. come, come close this time. There's so much that we don't know yet. Yeah. So now, uh, as we wrap things up, uh, Coffee Prince and Dojin, is there anything you guys want to say to each other? Uh, let's start with Coffee Prince. Any message um, to, to Dojin? Dojin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, good game, good game. So, mm -hmm. um, nabigyan ako ng opportunity na mag-aral mm -hmm. ng paano lumaban ng Negan. So, pagandaan ko siya in the next tournament. Okay, so Coffee Prince said that he's given an opportunity to understand Negan and now he'll come back better than ever. Dojin, is there anything uh, you want to say to Coffee Prince? Uh, first of all, uh, Coffee Prince, I would like to say good games. Uh, we definitely had a good game. And also, I'm really thankful and grateful to uh, experience uh, not only your Leroy but also your Pokemon because. Uh, mm -hmm. To everyone, our Coffee Prince is argu arguably prob or probably one of the best Leroy's in the Philippines. So Ooh. getting an experience from him is definitely something to look forward to. Two nine Leroy, one true <laughs> Leroy, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe Coffee Prince. <laughs> Lastly, any shoutouts you guys want to give out? Where can they find you on social media if they want to support you? The floor is yours. Let's start with Coffee Prince. Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank Bandai Namco for inviting me for this exhibition match and to all the people behind this, um, great job everyone. So you may uh, look for me on Twitter, uh, Copilicious14. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys Copy and wishes. shout outs to Kevin for Mando for helping me set up this. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. There you go. Uh, Dojin, how about you? Uh, I would like to thank Bandai Namco Esports, uh, Tenno Media, Astro for uh, giving me the opportunity to be the final boss yesterday and hey. also like, including me here at the exhibition match. Also, uh, Astro's headset. Right, right. 
right? Uh, right, right? <laughs> They're so dope. And also, shout outs to a Playbook and Laos of the group. Uh, hey. I really appreciate your support and I'm really grateful. And awesome. to all my friends and family, hello. Great stuff, you guys. Thank you guys so much for giving us an awesome match. And I'm sure you guys paved the way for more Tekken players out there. So thank you so much, Coffee Prince and Dojin Kid. What an amazing match we just saw between Coffee Prince and Dojin. That is the second exhibition match of the day. But we got one more. We have one more. The match that probably a lot of people have been waiting for and I'm almost speechless watch we have Playbook Esports AK versus oh you're uh, pointing me oh Playbook yes. Esports <laughs> <laughs> we got I'm uh, sorry I was just waiting it's just patient we got Signal Ultras Vermillion we got to work on our timing there but I will make sure that will happen because it's going to be one intense match ladies and gentlemen and now not a first to five but a first to seven